Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I will give a short introduction to Python, especially for those who doesn't know anything of Python. The video consists of two parts. In this part, you will learn what Python is, how you can use Python, what are operators, what are strings, and what are variables. The second part covers data types, conditions, loops, and functions. Remember, if you want to learn to program, you have to try coding by yourself. So I suggest to pause the video at the examples and try the examples. Before we start, I want to say that this video is not covering everything. I will just focus on the syntax. So it is good to keep that in mind. Let's start. Python is used by many people and companies. It is a language that is getting more and more popular, probably because it is a language that is easy to learn. Python was created by Hudo van Rossum, a Dutch programmer who received a master's degree in mathematics and computer science. The first release of Python was in 1991. After that, several versions were released. A couple of things are important to remember when working with Python. The dir and the help functions can help you further if you are stuck. The dir function is a powerful built-in function in Python, which returns a list of attributes and methods of any objects, like functions, modules, strings, lists, dictionary, etc. The help function in Python is used to display the documentation of modules, functions, classes, or keywords, etc. Indentation in Python is required for indicating what block of code a statement belongs to, while in other programming language indentation is used only to help make the code look pretty. Columns in Python are used for indicating a block code or for slicing. Soon we will see some examples. So what is Python? Python is an object-oriented, interactive and interpreted programming language. Interpreted means that we don't need to compile the instructions of a program into machine language instructions. Python is easy to learn. So, you don't need any previous programming knowledge to learn it. But if you have some basic knowledge of any other programming language, then that will help you to understand the Python programming concept quicker. As said earlier, Python is an interpreted programming language. The Python source code is compiled to bytecode as a PYC file, and this bytecode can be interpreted. The Python interpreter can be used in two modes, the interactive and the script mode. In the interactive mode, the Python script can be executed directly to the Python prompt without passing the script file to the interpreter. The interactive mode is useful when dealing with small pieces of code as you can type and execute them directly at the Python prompt. Note that you don't type the arrows in the examples if you are trying the examples. In the script mode, the Python script file is stored with the py extension. The interpreter is then used to execute the contents of the script file. The name of the script file is passed to the interpreter to be executed. The script mode is useful when the code is more than four lines and when you want to use the code in the future. The example in this slide shows how to run the script file hello.py. Operators are special symbols that are used to perform mathematical or logical manipulations. Operands are the values or variables with which the operator is applied to. 
The values of operons can be manipulated by using the operators. In the next slides, we will discuss arithmetic operators, comparison of relational operators, and the logical operators. On this slide, you see some math or arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators perform various arithmetic calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponent, etc. There are various methods for arithmetic calculations in Python. You can, for example, use the eval function, declare variables and calculate or call functions. Note that when you want to evaluate the value of an operation, you don't put the numbers between quotes. On this slide, we have some comparison operators that are supported by Python. These operators compare the values on either side of the operand and determine the relation between them. Comparison operators are also referred as relational operators. Note that the two consecutive equal signs means equal to. This is to check whether two expressions give the same value or not. A single equal sign on the other hand is used to assign a value to a variable. Logical operators in Python are used for conditional statements and are true or false. In the next slide, we will see examples of the logical operators AND, OR, and NOT that are supported by the Python programming language. The logical operator AND returns true if both the operands, that means the right side and the left side, are true. So in the first example, 4 equals 4 is true and 2 equals 2 is true, then the output of the logical operator AND is true in this example because both comparisons are true. In the second example, 4 equals 4 is true and 2 equals 3 is false. The output of the logical operator AND is false. And this is because only one of the operations is true. In the last example, 4 equals 5 is false and 2 equals 3 is false. So the output of the logical operator AND is false. And this is because both of the comparisons are false. The logical operator OR returns true if either of the operands is true. So in the first example, 4 equals 4 is true and 2 equals 2 is true. The output of the logical operator OR is true in this example because both comparisons are true. In the second example, 4 equals 4 is true and 2 equals 3 is false then the output of the logical operator OR is true in this example. And this is because only one of the comparisons is true. In the last example, 4 equals 5 is false and 2 equals 3 is false. So the output of the logical operator OR is false in this example. And this is because both of the comparisons are false. The logical operator NOT returns true if the operand is false. It is used to reverse the logical state of its operand. In this example, 4 equals 5 is false, so the output with the NOT operator will be true. A string is a list of characters represented in either double quote or single quote. In the next slides, we will give examples of strings. On this slide, we have two examples of strings. The first example is a string between quotes. The second example is a string between 
single quotes. The following two operators are string operators. The concatenation string operator concatenates or st joins two strings. The repetition string operator repeats the string for a number of times. In this example, high is repeated three times. In simple terms, we could say that a variable is just a box that you can use to put things into it. To distinguish the different boxes, these are the variables, we label the boxes. This means every variable has a name which describes what the variable is storing. We can view the content of the box and we can change the content just by calling the box label. Soon you will see some examples of variables. In the first example in this slide, we calculate a value. Then, in the second example, we would like to store the calculated value. To do so, we create a variable called final result and assign the value to this variable. In the last example, we see that we can change the value in a variable. In this example, we have changed the value 8 of the variable final result into high. So the last output will be high. From the previous examples, we can say that we can calculate a variable once, but keep the result to use it later. And we can say that we can keep the same name for a variable, but change the value. Here are some other things we can do with strings. We can get, for example, a value that belongs to an index number from a string. So in this example, we have a variable with the value Michael. By using the statement print username2, we can get the value that belongs to the index number 2. In this example, the value at index number 2 is C. Remember that index number starts from 0 instead of 1. To wrap it up, in this first part of Python for Beginners, we have discussed what Python is, how you can use Python, what are operators, strings, and variables. In the second part, we will discuss data types, conditions, loops, and functions. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.